What's up guys, it's today I've got a very exciting Animal Crossing video for you all. I'm gonna teach you how to make massive amounts of money without cheating. We're not gonna be time traveling, we're not pushing our clocks forward or manipulating the stock market or anything like that. We are gonna be making our own Tarantula Island, in a sense. It's a strategy to kind of increase the spawn rate of spiders, which is legit, it's, it's a feature in the game, and you can obviously make a lot of money. Now, if you guys don't know, Tarantula Island is an island you can get randomly by chance when you take a Nook Miles ticket. It's an island that doesn't really have anything on it. It's got like a circular river in the middle and it spawns nothing but tarantulas, which tarantulas, yeah, they're a little bit scary. Yeah, they chase you down and bite you and knock you out, but you can sell them when you get home for 8,000 bells to Timmy and Tommy, which is pretty legit. Now, uh, the thing is, is that island's really hard to get to. It's, I, I've taken probably 12 to 15 trips. I haven't gotten it once, so we're gonna try to kind of make our own. And I'm gonna start off by showing you guys the rewards here back in our, our back area. This is, this is ridiculous, dude. Look at this room. Look at this room right now. This room is entirely filled with tarantulas. Each one of these is worth 8,000 bells or up to 12,000 bells if you know what you're doing. Stick around for the end. So uh, how did I get this many? And, and you know, if you're watching our actual Animal Crossing series, I'm about two days ahead of where we are uploading right now. Like I've been stockpiling a couple of videos, so that's why we have the room here and you guys probably haven't seen that yet. But yeah, in two days, how did I catch that many spiders? What did I do? Well, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you've gotta do right now. So uh, the first thing you're gonna want are some tools. You want an iron ax, the iron shovel, the iron net, a vaulting pole, and a ladder. Those five things along with a Nook Miles ticket. So now we're here at the airport. We're gonna go talk to our, uh, our boy Orville here and we are gonna jet on out of here. We're gonna fly to a random new island and uh, this can work on on literally any island it doesn't matter if you get a flat island that doesn't really have any elevation and doesn't have a lot of water and enables you to run around a lot that's gonna help but uh, any island can work and the other thing is, is it's got to be nighttime in game so nighttime is gonna be 7 p.m. your local time spiders won't spawn if it's not nighttime so we're gonna fly out to a new island here how funny would it be if we actually got Tarantula Island? I kind of almost hope we don't. I don't think we did. Hopefully we could get some more, some new fruit. If we could get some new fruit, that'd be pretty exciting. What did we get? What kind of fruit? We got oranges. Dang it, that's unfortunate. That's okay though. So anyway, yeah, this, this actually will be a pretty good island because it doesn't have a lot of elevation. So this is going to be perfect. I mean, we kind of... We kind of have a bit of a question mark thing going on here, but we're going to be able to work with this. So now that you're on this island, what are you going to do? You're basically going to strip it bare. You've got to go through. You want to pick every weed. You want to pick every flower. You don't have to dig them up, but you just have to pick the tops of them. Basically, we're getting rid of all of the spawns of the other bugs. The game will randomly spawn bugs in as time happens. And if you get rid of all the spawn points for the other little bugs, you got a better chance of spiders spawning. Now, they're not going to spawn constantly like they will on Tarantula Island, but they will spawn relatively commonly, at least enough to make it worth it. So, yeah, we're going to run around. We're going to pick up everything that we can. We're also going to cut down all the trees. We're going to destroy all the rocks. It doesn't really matter what order you do it in. I mean, I usually do the stuff on the ground first, but it doesn't matter. You can grab your iron axe here. You're just going to hit the trees three times and you're gonna knock them down. Then you're gonna grab your shovel and uh, you're gonna go ahead and dig up the tree stump. Bugs can spawn on the tree stump, so we wanna get rid of those as well. Now, to be able to get rid of the rocks, you're gonna wanna eat one of your fruits, so a coconut, an orange, whatever you have on your island, and then you're gonna bash it with either a shovel or an ax and it's gonna break. Ooh, we got a piece of gold. That's actually pretty exciting. All right, so we have plucked every flower. We have cut down every tree. We have pulled every weed from the earth, and now we are gonna get rid of all of the tools that we don't need. And uh, luckily we got a good island here. There's no verticality. There are no water bodies that we're gonna need to jump over. So we're able to drop our, our vaulting pole as well as our ladder. And uh, I'm gonna go through, I'm literally gonna drop every single thing here on the beach. Now the reason for that is, is it's not gonna be taking up any space. Spiders won't spawn on beaches. So you wanna find a, uh, a good beach and you're gonna drop everything except for one item. Choose the item that means the most to you, that you wanna keep the most. In this case, I'm gonna keep the gold just because that's the rarest thing that we found here. And I'm gonna go drop the gold 
back towards our uh, back towards our entrance because uh, I mean when you think about it, so you've got you've got inventory slots. You've got to keep one full with your net. Like you're obviously gonna have to catch the spiders with your net. So eventually you can drop your net on the way out and you can pick up the uh, the gold nugget that we left there because that's a little bit more valuable. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna run around in circles. So spiders won't actually spawn on your screen. They have to spawn off your screen. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run in circles. We're gonna check the rocks because occasionally there will be wharf bugs that spawn on those. I think we've got a group over here. Yeah, we wanna scare those guys off. We're just gonna keep on running, keep on running. We're gonna look through here. Looks like we had a little bug there. Sometimes little bugs will spawn. There's nothing you can do about that. You're gonna have to scare them off. We're gonna check the rocks every time we go by. And eventually, we should have a spider spawn. Aha! We got our first victim. There we go, baby. So it took us a few laps. I'm not gonna lie, like this, this isn't the most exciting way to do it. Uh, to, to play this game, you know what I mean? Like, this is a bit of a grind, but if you want money, if you want to, to kind of do well and, and be able to buy cool stuff and advance yourself as quick as you can, then this is a, uh, a good strategy. So if you guys don't know how to catch tarantulas, you hold the A button to ready the net. Every time they raise up, you want to stop moving. When they go down, you can move towards them, and you want to get close enough that you're in net range, which should be our next step, and bada-bing, bada-boom, that is our first tarantula of the night. So basically what we're gonna do is just wash, rinse, and repeat. You guys can see, I mean, we got lucky here. There was another one right away. Usually it doesn't work like that. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. Some islands are better than others. Sometimes it takes me 20 minutes. Sometimes it takes me over an hour. It's just gonna be the luck of the draw. But no matter what, if you fill your inventory with spiders, at the end of the day, you are gonna have a ton of money. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grind this out. I'm gonna catch up with you guys once we uh, once we finish it out. I may even do this island and I might go try another island uh, just to prove that it works anywhere. But um, yeah, we're just we're gonna keep on going through. We're gonna go until we max out our inventory and then we're gonna be able to, uh, to take it back home and uh, I'll show you guys what to do with them from there. Well guys, it's been a grind, but uh, we are just about done. Take a look at the inventory. Every slot is filled with a tarantula, apart from our three necessary tools. And uh, we, we could leave now, we could save our tools and you know, kind of go back home and, and consider that done. But uh, your boy likes to finish things out all the way and it looks like we've got a tarantula over here in the corner. This is actually not good. I don't know how this is going to work out. We want to make sure we get him instead of the rock roaches or whatever you want to call them. If we get close to the rock roaches, hopefully they'll they'll disappear. They'll run away. I don't. I mean, I'm a little bit nervous here. I want to make sure we we prioritize him, and I'm not sure how to do that. Oh gosh, this is making me nervous. This is making me really nervous right now. And you guys will notice that we are on a different island here, so I just wanted to kind of show you guys that like it doesn't matter what island you're on. It doesn't matter. If you have height, if you have rivers. We got a roach. He's waiting for us. We got a... I'm gonna let it go. Run, run, run! That was an incredibly smart spider right there. I'm not gonna lie. That is the first time that's ever happened to me. And uh, it's it's almost like that was premeditated. So here we go. I'm about to get him back for that. But um, anyway, yeah, like I said, we are on a different island here. I just wanted to show that, like, no matter what the island is, no matter what you have, as long as you come on, you cut down all the trees, pluck all the plants and weeds and everything like that, that you're going to be able to do this. So it's, uh, it's a pretty good strat. It's going to make us some good money, that's for sure. And uh, we're, we're going to catch the last two here. We're going to catch spiders all the way down to the point that all we have left is a net. So, uh... I think, I think we're going to go ahead and swap this. I think we're going to have to swap it with our ladder. If we use our little little pole vault thing. Oh, no. Our net broke. Shoot. Okay, well, you know what? I guess that is, I, I, I guess it's time to go. If it wouldn't have broken, we could have dropped our ladder and just ran around with the vaulting pole. And then we could have used that to go across the river. We couldn't have scared the bugs from up top, but we could have at least gotten most of them. And I think eventually we could have gotten one more spider, which, I mean, it sounds crazy, but that's 8,000 more bells, which is pretty good. But uh, we're good to go. We're going to be fine. We picked up our rocks that we left at the entrance, and uh, we are going to be all good to fly home.
28 tarantulas and a little bit of our patience. What are you going to be able to pay for that, Timmy? Let's find out. Look at all the fine things you brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers and done. I can buy these from you for a total of 224,000 bells. Does that sound good? I mean, a quarter million in bells just about is, is pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. But I drive a hard bargain. We are going to pass on that. Now, why would we pass, you ask? Well, there is a guy that will come around to your island fairly regularly. I actually haven't seen him yet, so I, I can't attest to that. But I have read that he comes around relatively often, and his name is Flick. And he's got a bit of a thing for spiders. He'll pay you extra for spiders, and I think bugs as well. But uh, he's going to pay you an extra 50% on top of that. So those 28 tarantulas that we have would have been 336,000 bells. So I'm gonna hold out for that. I'm gonna go drop them off in our house. We're gonna leave them in safekeeping for now. And so uh, we're gonna wait till Flick comes around to be able to sell them everything that we have and make a boat load of money. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Hopefully this really helps you guys out and uh, good luck with the tarantula hunting. So thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to see you guys soon for some more Animal Crossing. Peace out.